possibly a little in a back up to end the quarter. Yes. Sa pagkatapos ng opening week ng ikasyam na put dalawang taon ng kauna-una ang ligang pangkuleo ng ating bansa ay mas tumitindi ang bakbakan dito sa loob ng Phil Oil Flying V Center sa lungsod ng San Juan. Ito po ang inyong NCA Season 92 na live at eksklusibo nyo napapanood sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action at High Definition sa Channel 166 sa Sky Cable at binabati din natin lahat ng ating mga manonood sa buong mundo via the Filipino Channel at live streaming sa tfc.tv at sports.abs-cbn slash livestream slash NCAA Ito po ang pangatlong handog ng triple header ngayong unang araw ng Hulyo kanina-kanina ay nagtagumpay ang Arellano University kontra sa San Sebastian sa score ng 99-81 sa pangalawang laro nalo naman ang Letran kontra sa CSB 56-52 at ngayon naman parehong pagkalaban ang dalawang wala pang panalo ang University of Perpetual Health System Delta Altas kontra sa JRU Heavy Bombers Hello Pilipinas at hello sa ating mga kababayan sa buong mundo ako po si Andre Felix para sa ABS CBN Sports kasama ang nag-iisang si Coach Olsen Rara Rasela Coach, kasama natin ang mga excited na estudyante ng Perpetual Health dahil syempre gusto nilang makamit ang kanilang unang panalo ngayong araw pati na rin yung uh, JRU Heavy Bomber students. Yes, magandang hapon, Jay. At itong dalawang komunan nga na magkaharap ngayon, ay nagkahanap pa nila ng kanilang unang pangalabit. Last season, they actually split their uh, games. Ano? The first round, yung uh, Altas ang nanalo by 3 points. The second round, yung Jerry yung nanalo by 2 points. So, kumbangan natin na talagang pakbangan itong dalawang teams na to, looking for their first win of the season. Coach Ho, speaking of pakbakan, nung Sabado nga ay nagpakbakan din ang Jerry Heavy Bombers at ang uh, Mapua Cardinals nung no opening day kung saan namayani ang Mapua but it was a close game nung no, 2 minutes and 41 left ng mga Mapua ng 73-69 muntikan pa nga masulot pa ng JRU yung laro yun against the Cardinals Well yung game na yun, Dre, it was a game really controlled for the most part by the JRU Heavy Bombers pero dahil nga dito sa overpowering performance ni Orwell Oraime ay namayani ang uh, Mapua Cardinals sa uh, 74 to 71. At doon naman sa kabilang uh, game ng Arellano, sa pagkatalo ng Perpetual mm. Health, actually, talagang binigyan ng... Uh, they, they gave uh, ang Arellano Chiefs a run for their money, even without the presence of uh, Bright Aquedi, who, is, who was injured in their last game. Ngayon naman pag-usapan natin ang panig ng Jose Rizal University, si Tete Teodoro. Mamaya si Paolo Pontejos, he is one half of the Blast Brothers, kung tatawagin natin. But Tete Teodoro, there was no Tete takeover in that game against Mapua. Siya yung isa sa mga inaasahan, sa mga veterano talaga. Of course, with the uh, departure of their team captain, Dave Sanchez, Tete Teodoro is one of the leaders along with Paolo Pontejos and of the squad. The last game, actually, to see uh, Tete Teodoro scored 13 points at two assists and two steals. Eh, normal for for an average player, for another player, eh, okay na yung numbers na yun. But for Tete Tudoro, kulang cool talaga yon. For a guy who exploded for 32 points last uh, season in one game, eh, napakababa yun. Especially last game in the fourth quarter, kung kailan siya kailangan, eh, hindi nakashoot si Tete Tudoro. So, abangan na natin na talagang uh, itong bounce-back game para kay Tudoro. He also finished with four fouls in that game and nabutata pa siya ng dalawang beses din at scoreless siya in the fourth period like what you mentioned. So, let's see if Tete Tudoro will bounce back in this game. Ngayon naman, let's go to the other side with their new coach. Of course, he's sort of new because he's coming back. He used to coach the Perpetual Health Altas also in season 87. I'm talking about Coach Jimwell Gikan. This is a team where they're losing a triple-double machine in Earl Scott E. Thompson. But of course, if you have two very dominating foreign players like Bright Aquete and Prince Ese, and you have Cap Dangangon, eh, maliwanag pa rin ang future nitong Perpetual Health. Yes, actually, last season, 
this is the first time we're going to see uh, Perpetual uh, this season. You know, last season they were uh, sixth place, 11 and seven. But you have to remember they were one win away from a playoff, the final yes. four last season. But this year, like you said, bagong uh, coach, then uh, coach Jim Welgikan, or of course replacing si coach uh, Eric De Losario. But like you said, ang uh, nawawala sa kanila, uh, Earl Thompson, averages niya last season 14 points, 11 rebounds, and 8.7 wow. assists. Ayang kaya palit nung ba? <laughs> Pero like you said, ang daming uh, papalit sa kahalili sa kanya uh, this season. Of course, you still have uh, Raita Kuwedi, uh, Princess. Uh, of course, a much improved gap na nga ngon. Feeling ko, malaking responsibilidad na ngayon at magpapakita itong bata ito. Then, key additions, of course, you have Daryl Sigontico, a very versatile uh, wing guy who can, lay, who can play multiple positions. At sabi nga nitong uh, from LA, California, na si Sigontico, eh parang daw siya si Draymond Green ng NCAA. So, Oh, yeah. Natin. yeah, that medyo matinding, uh, matinding panindigan yun. Let's see kung kaya niyang panindigan yung pagiging Draymond Green. In the meantime, putahan naman natin ang ating pangatlong membro ng abs Seven Sports Team. Walang iba, kundi si Siege Tantenko. Hi Siege, good afternoon. Hi there, Coach Olsen. Actually, ito na yung second game na yung cover ko sa hapon ito. Pero hindi ko nararamdaman yung pagod kasi excited na excited na ako makover ang chair yung after red one. At magaya mo, excited na rin kayo. Tingnan natin kung kaya ni Coach Verel Menezes, the aerial voyager, can lead JRU to victory after the break. Dito lamang sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Let us now meet the starters. First, for the JRU Heavy Bombers. Power forward number 16, Jed Salaveria. Forward number 20, Jed Mendoza. Center number 9, Abdullah Di Putucci. The off guard number 6, Gio Laschetti. And the point guard number 14, Tay Tay Teodoro. And coach of the heavy bombers. For hell, see Menezes. And now the starting vibe for the perpetual hell bosses. Off guard number five, Gerald Dizon. Point guard number 19, Keith Pidor. At center number 15, Prince Eze. Power forward number 8, Nico Gabiltes. And at forward number 14, Gab Dagalon. And coach of the Altas, Jim Well Geekon. The officials for final game today, Glenn Cornelio. Ernesto Mayanis Sa magandang hapon po muli, sa unang araw ng Hulyo. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtutok sa ABS CBN Sports. And action, the starting five para sa kupuna ni Coach Vergel Meneses. At center, it's Abdel Putucci. At power forwards, Jed Salaveria. Small forwards, Gio Laschetti. Ang dos naman nila, ang rookie na si Jed Mendoza. And of course, the veteran Tete Tudoro at point guard. Para naman dito sa University of Perpetual Health System, Dalta Altas, led by Coach Jim Walgica and Prince Eze in the middle. Then, you have Gab Dangangon as their small forward and that man driving strong I see Nico Capiltes na may bago din buhok Pido is also starting in the perpetual help lineup in Maroon at ito namang uh, JRU ay nakadilaw Mendoza mula sa labas at uh, pagbabago dito sa parehong starting lineups itong parehong koponan compared to their last game oh, understandable ngayon 
actually sa uh, JRU uh, ngayon si uh, Tate Chidoro lang ang naiwan from uh, the starting five that they had in their last game eh, galing nga naman sa pagkatalo so sinusubukan ni Coach Ferrell Menezes na baguhin itong kanyang uh, starting five para mas maganda nga naman ang umpisa makita nila ngayon Tagano ng tumikada mula sa labas tama ka dun Coach o, dahil ang nagsimula nung game ngayon against Mapua nung Sabado si Abdul Wahab si Mark Cruz si Mark De Ver, si MJ De Ver, Verhen at si uh, yung kanilang team captain si Jordan De La Paz pero like what you said Coach Verhel wants to shake things up taka naman din syempre mabigyan ng kumbiyansa yung mga off the bench na maganda ang pinapakita Chodoro from the corner we are still scoreless pero kapansin-pansin din Dre you know, wala rin sa starting lineup nila ito si uh, Paulo Pontejos uh, he will be coming off the bench in their second uh, straight game feeling ko ito rin is for them to have a a scoring coming off the bench for them o pag pinagsabay niya si uh, Teodoro at Ponteos at the same time eh baka mahirapan sila dun sa kanilang second five pakiro pa rin tayo naghahanap ng uh, sino una makakascore dito itlog pa rin ang ating talaan 8.26 ang ating oras sa unang yugto balikan natin ating kasamahan na si Siege Tanteco Salamat sa Siege. Tama ka. 20 turnovers last game. Itong uh, University of Perpetual Health System. Dalta 10 naman lang para sa Arellano. At sinimula na. Ito na si Tay Tay Teodoro ang nagpanimula ng scoring dito sa larong ito para mapunta ang JR sa scoreboard. And back to back para kay Tay Tay Teodoro, Coach Olsen. Yes, good start for uh, Tay Tay Teodoro. Last game, binanggit natin at the top of the coverage na hindi maganda yung linaro niya. Although he had 13 points, he was scoreless in the fourth quarter. So ngayon, maganda yung panimula ni Tate Judoro. Gerald Dizon, binitbit pa ang bola. Kahit hinabol pa siya doon ng depensa ng JRU. Baka makascore na rin itong perpetual help. 4-2, almost 3 minutes ang nakalipas sa ating first quarter. Lasketi, hinahanap si Judoro sa corner. Libring libre si Tay Tay In and out Makukulit ni Chodoro Chodoro To Lasketi Pinag-isipan ko titira ng dress Tend to shoot Putucci This is a good matchup Between Abdel Putucci and Eze But of course the taller Eze With that longer wingspan With the block Ain't a difference you know? With Putucci there He is more of a scorer Si Abdul Wahab Is more of a defender Sa kabilang Dako naman Itong si Eze Who hits that outside jumper E baliktad Si Eze is more Of the defender no? Compared to uh, Dun sa kanilang uh, Isang import Si uh, Frank Who is more of an offensive player Pero nung time na yun Parang alam ni Eze na yun Yung sasabihin mo Napasok niya yung perimeter jump shot Maganda naman yung dinipensa niya muna di ba? Okay okay Tignan natin Kung nilalagay niya Kanyang kamay Sa mukha ni Putucci But of course Napalapit at napasundot Itong si Prince Eze Tatawagan siya Ng kanyang unang personal foul At gusto ko yung ginawa ni Potucci ito ano? You see this uh, Drive by Pito To a wide open Eze For that jumper So si Potucci Trying to bring out Itong depensa ni Eze Sa labas Feeling niya nas, ma, Mas ma, may advantage siya Sa perimeter Kaysa sa ilalim Kung saan nasapal siya kanina Laschetti with 5 on their shot clock Does he know it? Laschetti Nice out fake pero traveling ang itatawag dito kay Jed Salaveria. Jed Salaveria is a used to play for San Beda Alabang. He has two more playing years. He's a returnee actually. Naglaro na rin yan para sa JRU but because of uh, an accident a year ago ay hindi nakalaro para sa JRU. Dizon, kinama na, ilista mo ba ang basket? Para dito kay Dizon, so he will head to the line for a possible three-point play. Di nagkasundo dun si speaking of defense ng JRU, letting Dizon drive to the baseline, no help, and one for Dizon. Sa amin pagbalik, he will head to the free throw line. Stay with us dito lamang sa NCA Season 92 na live sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action.
Ito yung ating isa sa mga inaabangan. Smile, you're on cam. All our beautiful faces. Lahat ng, uh, of course, uh, we see uh, daughter, beautiful daughter of Coach Virgil Meneses supporting his, her father's team. And of course, Mr. Paolo Ponteos. At ito naman sa mga estudyante na nagbumiyahe pa all the way from Las Piñas. Of course, from uh, University of Perpetual Health System, Dalta. Ayan, yeah, nakakatawa ito yung uh, naglalaro itong Altas. Eh, no? May makita ka talagang grupo dyan na talagang wild mag-cheer. Uh, yun yung nasa likod natin kanina eh, di ba? <laughs> Kaya nga, hindi tayo magkarinigan kanina, coach. Hindi na kompleto ni Dizon ang 3-point play, but he has 4 points sa kanyang pangalan. 6-4 to four is the tally. Perpetual help, slightly ahead by basket. Todoro, no changes in the lineup so far for both squads. Laschetti, nice up fake there, and a closer jumper in and out nga lang. Para kay Mendoza. By the way, our officials for today, Ben Cornelio, Junet Bayais, and Romy Mangnibil. Tagangon, bibigay kay Eze. Popostihan niya si Potucci. Eze. Some, oh, what a dream shape. Slightly. Parang Akimo Lajewon, nung isang araw, pinag-usapan natin yung nag-cover tayo nung uh, Martes si Oraime. So, right. Yes, ngayon ito si Eze. Mukhang talagang nag-improve yung kanyang uh, offensive skills. Ano? Kanina, jumper. Mm. Ngayon, uh, post move naman. Ganda nung pihit niya doon. Mendoza na blanka ni Nico Cabildes. Nakakuha ulit ng perpetual ang bola. Lamang sila ng 4. Pwedeng i-extend sa anim. Cabildes. Napakalalim. Pero huli ka, boy. Sabi ni Salaveria. Laschetti tumatakbo. Ganda naman ng hesitation ni Laschetti. Tumuloy-tuloy. Ganda ng galaw ni Laschetti doon. Giving that head and shoulder fake. Driving past Ese for that day up. Four minutes ang uh, nalalabi sa ating unang yugto. Tumuloy-tuloy naman. Pero masyadong malakas lamang ang attempt ng time na yun ni Dizon. Chodoro all alone. Tete Chodoro ties things up at eight. Very aggressive talaga si Tete Chodoro sa larong ito. Six points na. Uh, sa kabuong eight points ng JRU, anim na puntos para kay Tete Chodoro. Libre ang libre mula sa labas si Dizon. Nagbanggaan si Darangon at si Cabildes. Nakuha ni Chodoro to Potucci. Pero hinabol ni Dizon. Yes, a good uh, transition defense to si Dizon. Nakita niya, nauna si Potucci, pero naagawan niya yun. Eze, he already hit a perimeter J earlier. Mintis nga lang siya on that try. So both teams also still trying to feel each other out dito, Coach Olsen. Chodoro, napakalayo. Hey, Elis, tamo na! Unang yes, baka sa tres ni Tay Tay Chodoro. Pero yun si Chodoro, komportable, komportable na. Dito yung Chodoro. Already with 9 points for the, in this game. Tabawi ni Dagangon. Yes! Baka sa tres. Sabi ni Gab Dagangon. Baka maitabla ang ating talang. 11. Baka sa parehong kumunan. Yes, Gab Dagangon who top scored in their last game. Eh, ngayon, yan ang talaga specialty niya. Eh, outside shooting. Tanda naman, nung hanap kay Laschetti, he was fouled. Looks like itatawag dito kay Gab Dagangon. It will be Gap Dagangon's first personal foul. Tingnan natin itong napakalayon tres ni Tete Tudoro. Na binawi naman ni Gap Dagangon sa kabila para sa perpetual help para maitabla sa 11 sa parehong kupunan. Kami po yung magbabalik dito lamang sa NCAA Season 92. Abdel Potucci ang inyong nakikita sa ating TV screens. Of course, uh, one of the two foreign players and the head-to-head -head matchup, it's between Abdul, Abdel Potucci and Prince Eze against Mapua. Potucci had eight points, four of five from the field. Ito naman si Eze, five of 16 with 31% per, shooting, Coach Olsen. Oh, okay, ito si uh, Prince Eze had more playing time their last game dahil uh, si Bright Akweti hindi nga naglaro ngayon. So, tignan natin kung uh, ganun pa rin ang mangyayari ngayon. Well, ito, pumasok na pala si Bright na pwede with Prince Ese getting a free press. But like you said, it's si Prince Ese had more playing time uh, last game, scoring 12 points and uh, had 15 rebounds compared to Abdel Patucci, only had uh, 8 points and 4 rebounds. It's a debut here in Season 92 ni Mr. Brightside, Bright Akweti wearing jersey number 18, of course. He uh, sprained his right knee. 
nung practice, sabi ni Bright, so hindi siya sigurado kung makakapaglaro daw siya in this game. But he is in. Pinasok siya ni Coach Jim Mulligan. Chodoro, tignan natin. 4 of 6 on the field, Coach Olsen. Oh, 9 points na. Ito si Tate Chodoro. Kanina nakita natin head-to-head -head, uh, Potucci versus Ese. Ngayon, pumupo na yung dalawa. Makikita naman natin ngayon maglalaban uh, uh, to si uh, Bright Aquetti at si Abdul Wahab. Chodoro, isang press pa raon. Napakalayo. That time around, mente siya. Lasketi. Binigay to the cutting crossbay na nasa loob nga. Tumatakbo ngayon ang perpetual head. Dizon all the way! Dizon! Pang-aring na puntos niya ni Gerald Dizon. Pero sa kapilang court dito si Tagangon is down on the floor. Tignan natin kung ano nangyari sa kanya. Nagpapasap siya ngayon eh. Nagpapapalit siya. The native of Davao City, Gabriel Tagangon. Laro sa Agro Davao. He's taking up BSBA Marketing Management. So, papasok ngayon si Hal. Tignan natin kung pakikita natin dito. Mayroon siya lang sa ating director. Hal Neri. Bumagsak siya mag-isa eh. Pero dun sa the way he walked, going to his their side of the court, eh parang ankle sprain yung itsura nun. Si Contigo is also in the game now. And so is Ilagan. JG Ilagan, sama ni... Daryl Singuntigo. Here he is from LA, California. And in and out, the kanyang ulang atin. Milam guard, forward. He plays a lot of positions. Sabi niya, Akweti wants it down low. In and out using the glass. Then si Bright Akweti on his first attempt. Yes, dalawang mintis dito sa Perpetual. Ang lapit nun at nagmintis yung dalawa. Si Singuntigo at si Bright Akweti. Perpetual help. Namang na isang. Point, Dito, 13 to 12, under two minutes to play in our first quarter. Chodoro, wala pang pahinga, nakakarap sa corner and ilista mo na para kay Pau Evardo. Yes, good pass, a good dribble drive penetration by uh, Tete Chodoro, giving an assist pass. So, hindi lamang sumuscore to si Tete Chodoro at nagbibigay din ng assist sa kanyang mga teammates. Dizon, sabi niya kay Hau, tulipat ka sa kabila, punta tayo kay Akweti. Akweti mula sa labas. Short on that attempt from Three Point Country. Alam ko na itagtag yun sa Arsenal niya yung coach. Oh, pero tinitignan ko kanina pa si Bright. Oh, he's coming off an injury. Mm -hmm. So tignan natin kung uh, 100% na to si Bright na Kweti o oh, oh, baka may iniinta pa. Of course, he had monstrous numbers on his rookie year last season para sa perpetual help. Kweti attacking gets a foul. Mukhang itatawag dito yung first personal foul ni Abdul Wahab, Abdul Razak. Or, tignan natin kung sa kanya itatawag or sa iba. Kay Bardo itatawag yung foul. Paolo Evando. Diba dito, Gray, sa ating NCAA, sa pananaw ko, dalawang klase ng import siya. Isang madalas na nakikita nating import ay yung doing the dirty job. Role players, getting just rebounds, hindi mo masyado inaasahan, pinupuntahan sa offense na, pero he will get his points. Ang ating NCA MVP last year, uh, Orwell O'Reilly is just like that, oh, getting the rebounds, blocking shots. At ang isang klase ng uh, import, eh, katulad naman ito si Bright Aquedi, who is really uh, a force sa offensive end. All-around player na talagang pupuntahan mo kung kailangan mo ng puntos. Ice up, ice up and under move. Para kay Gospe, nakakuha nga lang ng perpetual health turnover para sa JRU. Nabitawan din ng bola ng uh, perpetual ni... At sa gulo dito, gawan buko. It looks like there will be a jump ball, but possession arrow is pointing sa panic ng Jose Rizal University. Paolo Ponteos nasa loob na rin ng laro. Nagkita natin perimeter points. Tabla din. 7 sa 7. Dying seconds of the first quarter. Ponteos has it on the switch. Aquenti is on Ponteos. Does he know that the clock is winding down? Evardo! But that won't count. An offensive foul lang itatawag kay John Grossman. Third over for uh, Jerry that time, setting that illegal pick. It was the Grossman with 2.4 seconds left. Let's take a look at this replay with this magnified look. The two seconds remaining. He's on. He's in. Jan Magtatabos. Ating sampung minuto ng first quarter. 
after leading as much as four for both squads. Jer, you led four to nothing. At lumamang naman din ang perpetual help. Ocho sa cuatro. Abla po tayo. 14 sa 14 sa pagkatapos ng first quarter, Coach Olsen. Yes, uh, good start by uh, JRU. Pero maganda tong habol ng uh, uh, perp, ng perpetual help altas with uh, Bright Aqueti coming off the bench para sa kanila. Eze, pinapakitaan tayo ng mga offensive moves sa loob. Patete Chodoro was the leader and highest pointer para sa JRU at sa larong ito na may 9 puntos na para kay Tete Chodoro. Sa aming pagbabalik, second quarter, dito lamang sa labanan, pagitan ng JRU at Perpetual Help, only here on NCA Season 92 on ABS Event Sports in Action. Watch the latest game highlights. Subscribe to ABS Event Sports in Action YouTube channel.